I like to give all glory and thanks to to God, our Heavenly Father, Yahshua, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Yahshua Mashiach, my Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, Ruach Kadesh. I like to share some stuff with you since I ain't made a video in a while. Um, I'm gonna give you a lot of the dreams I've been getting. I'm gonna give you a lot of the stuff that I've been going through. Um, I really, I've been doing alright since I made a, since I made my last video, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would come short sometimes, and um, I mean, don't we all? But nonetheless. Uh, I'm gonna give you my rapture. I, I had like a rapture dream and visions lately, but I haven't been putting them out there because you know I would think I don't want to do this for attention, and I'm trying to do this to help people, hoping I bring people closer to Christ. You know, that's the whole reason I do it, and um, I say that because you know, I'm just saying. Um, it's getting to be to the point where it was just, it's just been on my spirit. Not the people know what God telling me and myself included. And if you don't want to listen, I can't do nothing about that. I can't. Um, if you don't want to turn from your sin, if you don't want to try your best to turn from your sin, I can't help that. If you just, I mean, hey, I can only do what I can do. Um, and a lot of people stop making videos because all they can do is what they can do now they're directing their their prayers and their input on the bride people that want to be ready for jesus to come back uh i'm gonna give you these couple dreams i had and i'm gonna give you my issues my because you know my coming shorts my I'm, I'm gonna tell you about that just so you can know more about me um like i had a couple rapture dreams and visions and they were I had the last dream I really had the last two dreams I had of the rapture the first one I um I looked in the sky it was nighttime you know how Jesus said I'm coming like a thief in the night am I saying is it gonna be in the night no I don't know but in the dream um in the dream, it was nighttime, and I, and I was in the sky, and I looked around my area, like for the for you know, a two to four mile radius, and you know, out of hundreds of people, I only saw like one dot, one white dot, two white dot, three white dot in my four or five mile radius. One, two three four you know and and I was like is this it and um and that's how many people were really trying to be ready for this rapture and was worried that it'd be taken up just like one two three four and um it kind of broke my heart is that it and and that's what I thought to myself is this it like there's not more and and then I woke up. Another dream I had was um another dream I had was recent. It was just like two weeks ago. Um, where I would look and it was the the the, the earth, the land was dark, and not dark of night, but a different kind of dark. And it wasn't a comfortable dark. I mean, it was dark. The earth was dark. And I mean, and I knew it was daytime for some reason. And I looked in the sky and I saw a couple angels, you know, and I saw Jesus. I saw his robe. I saw him in his long robe, but I couldn't make out his face. It was so bright. I couldn't even make it out. You know, and he looked gigantic, you know, not like, you know, and, and his face was too bright to even see. And um, I was watching as as people were being gathered up. I was watching angels in the skies. They were like, and it's like they were lights in the sky. And I saw Jesus. I saw. Him. 
His face was too bright for me to even see. And um, I re the other vision I had concerning the rapture was um, it, it was a couple. I would have it with I, I seen. I would see Jesus as he's. I would see, and, and I thought this was kind of weird. You know, I would see God as you know during the during the bridal supper. I, I saw him, and this was like. I couldn't explain it. I like kind of saw him fixing food or like kind of like fixing food, you know, and I immediately when I saw him like, hey, you know, let me help you out. Let me get there from you. But nah, that's what he wanted to do. Like, what am I going to say? No, God, I'm going to, you know, and, and, I, and I couldn't believe it. You know, even though it was a vision, I'm like, really? You know, he wanted to serve us. I, I, I'm not trying to make it up. It's just the vision I had. And sometimes I used to think, is this my imagination? But no, I knew it wasn't. And um, I remember in heaven at the bridal supper, I would see people that helped me, help me out so I could make it up there. You know, like a couple friends of mine, like, you know, Tam, Lolly, a guy named Manny, you know, I would see them up there like we made it, you know, and um, and I remember this, we would all have a glass or, or something to drink out of. And all we had to do was somebody had to pour, pour some in each other's cups and it would stay filled of whatever you want it to be. Say you like um, grape juice, it would turn to grape juice. Say you like apple juice, say you like soda, it would be that. And, and even if you wanted to try something different right then, it would change into something different right then. And I thought that was cool. Um, I also, you know, and whatever your meal, it's like the meal would be a perfect meal that you would love. And you could eat it as much as you want. And and, and I'm like, that's what's up. Imagine like a, a Ruby Tuesdays burger and you can get it as much as you want. And that, that kind of, and... And and I was thinking about the people that made it to heaven that was sitting next to me. And then and it felt good. And I seen um you know, also in another dream a vision of heaven, I would see as I, I, I remember what I seen in heaven was I seen this gigantic building. It was white, it was it was perfectly sculpted and it was as tall as you know and it looked like in in the in the in the streets would go yes they were of course that was a given and and, the, and it'd be grass like on each on, on the walkway and the grass would be alive i remember i was short sighted i made it in the heaven i was rolling on the grass like i made it i made it the flowers were like you made it you made it you know because the flowers were speaking back and um i thought that was cool I had visions where I'd be playing video games with Jesus, and I thought that was cool. You know, and and I would get these visions of Jesus, and and I realized I talked to him two ways. Sometimes I talk to him as a friend, and in most cases, you know, when we're going through what we're going through down here on earth. I talk to him like he's my Lord, mainly. Um, I would kind of get the justice of his personality. I can get his personality. I remember um, I was praying to him. Another vision I had, I was praying to him. And I was really praying something to him. like, Because I've been praying a lot. And repentance is a lifestyle. And I was praying to him. And I remember him, you know, I seen him get off his horse as he was wearing his robe, you know. And, um, you know, and, and, and he and I could feel him over me because I, when I feel him over me, it's like I get this thing where I'd be smiling something so hard. I couldn't stop smiling if I wanted. 
Um, it feel like my face got stuck, like. And um, I would uh, I would think about that. And he said, and I remember him telling me, "Ray Hell will not take you." You know, and um, sometimes you know when I come short, I can't believe I come short. Um, you know, cause I, I I still struggle sometimes with sin. I'm not gonna lie to you all. Um, to be honest, if I had to, I'm gonna tell you about me. If I if I come short, if my sins aren't come, my sins. I'm be honest. If I come short, it's coming short out of lust. And I would pray to Jesus, and I could feel Him saying, "I forgive you." You know, I just prayed to him today, you know, because I came short today. And I could feel him saying to me, Ray, I'm not saying sin is okay, but I forgive you. It's okay. He's like, I know you. I know your spirit is willing, but your flesh is weak. You're tired. Your flesh is tired. And, um, and it is. I'm, I'm sharing this with you, giving you more about me, you know, and um, and when he said that, that meant a lot to me, he just said it today, because I came short today, like I said, um, you know, I sometimes would ask him numerously, forgive me for my sin, forgive me, even if I know he forgave me, you know, I would keep asking him for forgiveness, and it's, sometimes it may feel like it's out of lack of faith. But sometimes it's just, Jesus, I don't want you to take me out of the Lamb's Book of Life. I don't want to not be raptured up, left in this time of tribulation. Please consider me worthy to escape, it, to escape this time of tribulation. Those were my, that's what I would say to him. And I would really speak from the heart every time. Like, please deem me worthy. And another thing yesterday... Was um, I was sleeping. I was in my bed, tired, knocked out, and I was. Ha I, and even though I was in my bed, sleep. I had this, this, this vision or or this. I thought I heard something in a, and it sounded like. I was half asleep, but it sounded like almost like a trumpet or something. Like, did anybody hear this? It was like this strange sound, and I was like, did anybody hear? You know, and and it's like, and I heard it, and I know what I heard. You know, sometimes, you know, you being a watchman, it's like you feel like you hear stuff. Or it's like if you think you hear something close to it, you're like, like, what is that? You know, because it's just like in your spirit, you know, it's any day now. And everybody knows it's like any day. So we're all trying to be pure, repent, be clean of our sin, be pure in God's eyes. And I thought I was the only one because it was like a strange sound. And lately, I, I I just been. It felt like something, and and I share this with you because as the bride, I want y'all to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be worthy, so I can say I made it next to you. To be honest with you, only thing I'm thinking about doing is getting to heaven. I used to want my focus to be. Do this, do that, do this, do that, have kids, get married, do all that. But my focus is to get to heaven. That's it. That's all I want. And I do the best I can to turn away from my sin, be victorious over sin, so I can make it to heaven. That's it. Um, You know, I never... Sh you know, the hardest thing, and the reason why I'm making this video is because it's the, you know, God gave me something, and it's the Father's will. You know, and the reason why I say the Father's will is because some stuff is God's will, some stuff is Jesus' will, some stuff isn't. The reason why I share that is because this is something... And it was one of the toughest things I had to deal with, and it, it and it was very hard for me to deal with. Um, 
I'm going to share this with y'all, you know, about my personal life. I'm not going to make this no sitcom, no love story. But, um, and I realized it was not God's will. I used to talk to this girl from uh, another nation, from South Africa, you know, and um, this girl, I loved her. I loved her, and I loved her like I loved nothing else. And, um... I mean, I really did the best I could by this girl, you know, and um, and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is, you know, you know, what I found in her is something I still haven't found. And, and you know, I don't think I'm going to find it here. I really don't. I, um, and, you know, it was nice when we were talking and then. You know, it was the most beautiful thing ever when we were together. I haven't known anything as beautiful since. And, um, but when we were apart, it was the hardest thing for me. And long story short, we stopped talking. And, um, and she got, you know, she, she ended up talking to this guy, you know, and like a year later, they got married. You know, and... And, and and to keep it going, you know, me, once I found out she was married, it was, I mean, I, I was hurt in a sense where, you know, as a, as, as you know, when you ever deal with people, when you deal with things, it's easy, it's easier to get over something if it's, hey, I regret this, you know what I'm saying? Hey, all I need to do next time is try harder or do better or just don't do that. But when you do the best you can, sometimes that's hard to come back from. Because your heart was in it, your soul was in it, everything you was in this, you know. And when it fails, it's it's sometimes hard to deal with. Like if I didn't do the best I could, I'd understand what I did. And um, and to keep it going, when I found out she was married, of course I'm getting rid of pictures and and things, and and I was hurt for the longest. And I would have dreams about it like I would see again. And the funny thing is, is I don't want to. You know, you, you know, I, I genuinely don't want to. You know, I don't want nothing to do with her, you know. And, um, and I'm going to tell you, you know, I would have dreams like, and, and it would like kind of just mess with me. And I had this one dream and I never forgot it and I was so hurt I could have. I had this dream of um, where she was nurturing her child. She had a daughter. And I would have this vision like I see again. And keep in mind, I don't want to. You know, I don't really call a married woman because a little about me, I'm to myself. And as a single man, I'm going to be honest, I have more married women wanting to talk to me than single. And it breaks my heart. Or, you know, that look at me with that, like, desire or just look at me like, you know, and, and, and you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's not a good feeling. And, um, and, 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 you know, and it broke my heart. You know, when I saw her nurturing her kid, I put my hands, and it was a dream, but I put my, my face in my hands and I started crying. Something fierce, and I woke up. When I had that dream, I I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was so hurt. When I saw her nurturing her kids, I, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, and I called her. And, and when I called her, it's like she was like, how do you know I had a kid? I mean, it's just, I seen you nurturing your kid. I seen what our house looked like. I seen, you know, and... And when I called to after that, it's like, I hung up, you know, because I genuinely, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, keep in mind, I forgave a long time ago, but some hurt still there, you know. The scar, you know, it's it's like kind of like where it's at right now. It, 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 it's like a keloid's over. That's how it feels, you know. The hurts, you know, the hurt may not be there as hard, but the scar still is there. You know, the scar is really present. 
the reason why I'm sharing this about you or I'm sharing this about me to you is because I felt Jesus say to me, Raymond, it was not my will. You know, because, you know, right after I, right after I talked to her, I was talking to Jesus and I wasn't talking to him out of anger. I was just talking to him like, is this a joke? Was it a joke to you? You know, and I was mad, you know, like not mad where I would cuss him, not mad where I would denounce him. Not mad like I was going to vent out on him, but just, you know, because I felt hurt, you know, and um, he would say to me, Ray, it was not my will. And he was he kept it going like it was not my will. You would not evenly match, you know, and um, and when he told me that, you know, it kind of brought me a sense of peace. It brought me peace. And he showed me, like, the woman I have in mind for you, the, you know, the companion I have for you, she's so beautiful, you wouldn't even think about Kathy. You know, and the funny thing is, I would have visions of it. He would give me visions of how she would look, her skin, you know, her skin's this radiant skin. Her hair is nice and long and wavy-ish. You know, her lips are naturally pink and I would see it in just her features and and it wasn't like out of lust, it was just and I really don't think I'll find it here. You know, I really just the reason why I'm sharing this is because our will and God's will are two different things. Our will and God's will are two different things. And for some of you, it may take a lot for you to notice. Because it's hard, you know, to sometimes accept that, you know, and, and, and even though this does not equate to it, but, you know, when Moses went to Pharaoh, you know, when you went to Ramses and he was like, I mean, when Moses went to Ramses, like, hey, God, you know, it's like they were never really close. You know, they were rivals throughout their childhood. But, you know, in a sense, Moses didn't want to be the one. You know that 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 went to you know speak to Ramses because Moses he'd do anything to gain to make him laugh make him smile like, you know in his heart it was his brother he didn't want to do it but um, he had to do God's will. The reason why I share that is because our will and God's will are two different things. It was not Moses' will to go free. You know, you, you could see that if you read it. You know, it was not, you know, when God was like, go. When God man said, go. Don't worry about anything else. Just go. And, um, and he was scared. You know, Moses was scared. And um, the reason why I'm sharing a lot of this stuff is because a lot of y'all have to know the difference. Our will and God's will are two different things. Our will and God's will are two different things. We want to all be worthy and, and do God's will. You know, Jesus gave me something. And honestly, these dreams, I had these dreams like a couple of weeks ago, almost a month ago. I didn't share them because I just didn't want to make videos. Just to, hey, leave me a comment. I'll try to reply. I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. I share all this is because if you don't know God's will, you're going to keep chasing your will. And what is your will, it, it, it can hurt you. It can haunt you. Because it's not yours. It's, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not God's, it's your will. Your will can almost, your will can almost eternally damn you. If not, eternally damn you. Repent. Be ready. I want you to be worthy. Of, of, I want you to be worthy of God's kingdom. I want you all to be ready. Please repent. Turn away from sin the best you can. To be honest, if I sin, if I come short, out of two weeks, I'd say, if I kept times, I'd say I'd probably come short two to three times in those two weeks. You know, that's just... 
things that I would think about. That's me knowing, you know. But nonetheless, I want to be a spotless bride because a lot of people go without sin for the longest. And I want to be like y'all. Sometimes I, I don't sin for a long time. And then sometimes I may sin once or twice a week. Or, or, or I'm just being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. But I'm doing everything in my power. to. I do repent. I do try to keep my mind pure. I, true, I do try to be pure. I do keep forgiveness in my heart. Because I want to be worthy to escape the tribulation that's going to come up on the earth. I share this with you as a friend, as a brother in Christ. If I didn't see a brother's video talking about being worthy of the rapture, I would not have done this. I'm doing this because I care. And I would have dreams about that girl in Africa sometimes, but I keep in mind it was not God's will. It was not his will. And closing about that about that whole incident, you know, with that girl I used to talk to. Um it hurt me because she knew you know, as people, you know when someone does right by you, you know when someone doesn't. You know when someone treats you right and when someone doesn't. You know, and if I talk to a Nash, you would almost talk to me like, hey, how are you? How's life? You know, like on a friendly note. And you don't want, and sometimes when you do as a person, if, when you do the best you can it's, and it blows up in your face or it's like a joke or it's like this, it hurts. In many ways, I knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't God's will because I remember every fight I would have when I, it was a long distance relationship. And I remember every fight we would have if I said, what you want to do to leave home? I remember it like it was yesterday or five minutes ago. And honestly, I knew that girl didn't want to leave her home. I knew it. But it was one of the hardest things to ever deal with. It was one of the hardest things I could have ever dealt with. You know, but I give this up to God to take my burdens, to take my past pain. I leave it to Jesus, and he does. He does. And I knew it was the enemy showing me this because it, because it would hurt. It would hurt. And it wasn't God's will. No God's will. This testimony I give to you, I'm giving you from the heart. I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't on me to make it. And I'm doing this hoping I can see you. Or hoping I help somebody, help one of you. Honestly, I may still come short from time to time. And I do my best not to. And I can feel when Jesus said again, you know, you're, you're tired. You know, your spirit is willing, but your flesh is weak. So pray for me as I pray for you. Lord Jesus, forgive everyone for their sins. Not just me, not just my friends, not just my enemies, but everyone breathing. Please cleanse them, purify them in Yahshua Mishai's name. And please make us all worthy to see your kingdom. It may not happen like that, but please let us escape this time of tribulation in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all stay safe.